All right, guys, we're going to take a look at the G-Shock GX56BB. Big thanks to William for sending in the numeric Scrabble tiles. That'll help when I'm doing part numbers. But this is the king square. This is the big Mac Daddy of the G-Shock squares. Comes in a bunch of different colorways. This one's fully black, stealthed right out. Uh, big thanks to Mimo for sending this in from Mimo's Jewelry. I'll put a link in the description and the discount code G20 for 20% off. Get that right out of the gate, guys. Jump over there, start shopping for some G-Shocks at 20% off. Mimo's an authorized dealer of G-Shock. Here's the hang tag. You can see the list price on this is only 150 already. So GX56BB-1, um, it is a tough solar. But uh, I don't believe it has multi-band. This is a module 3221 module. You can see the information on the case back there. And I'm pretty sure it's tough solar and then it has like, you know, once you put in the time and the date and everything like that, it'll just keep track of everything. Um, you may have to adjust the time once in a while, but it's gonna be super accurate already right out of the gate. So size-wise, I guess we need to talk about it because we talk about it on every watch. But you are 50 and a half millimeter wide. Okay, guys, I know it's a big watch. Most of these G-Shocks are big watches, and we're going to do some comparisons. The effective lug-to-lug -lug is about 55 millimeter. But if you're a G-Shock fan, you know that a lot of these numbers really don't matter. 17 millimeter thick and uh, proprietary strap, so we're not going to worry about lug width here. Um, but it does, you know, taper down, and it's a double punctured here with a really nice heavy-duty clasp that's actually got screw link and a double uh, tang there so and a nice rubber keeper I prefer that over the metal you guys know that so let me bust out a wrist shot for you and then we'll do some size comparisons and then uh, possibly look at the loom if I can but yeah it's a beast guys no doubt about it but it wears great on wrist it's super light um, and it's comfortable, you know, are you going to get long sleeves and hoodies and stuff like that caught on it? Yeah, totally going to happen. Uh, but it's still comfortable nonetheless. The buttons are easy to access, uh, unlike, you know, the standard traditional uh, older G-Shock square models. Uh, looks like you could actually launch one of these traditional squares out of the King, you know, but that's really not the case. Uh, but these buttons are still accessible, you know, they're, but I know some people gripe about the kind of recessed one there. Um, these buttons are going to be way easier to operate. So, of course, you can uh, cycle through the functions. I'm not going to get into all the details of the module. It has all the standard stuff, the alarm, the stopwatch, the countdown timer, and then back to your date. You know, you can adjust up here if you hold that down. Um, this one's, I don't know what this one does. And then, of course, the light. So, really nice feeling strap and everything. Um, here it is next to the Frogman. You can see it is similar in size, I would say, to the Frogman. But being that it's square instead of offset round, such as the Frog, then uh, it's going to have a little more wrist presence, I think. It's going to look a little more robust on your wrist. Um, and there's, like I said, there's different colorways of this. I mean, there's some of your real fancy ones with purple. There's, of course, the positive display, the negative display, and then there's some limited edition ones. So it's nice that G-Shock continues to make this one. I think it's a really good value proposition if you're looking for the larger G-Shocks. You know, at 150 retail, and then if you get a discount code, that brings the price way down for sure. Um, I don't really have a hard time reading the negative display. This one's um, submerged down into the dial, like the face of the watch a little bit. So it's a little more tricky than some of the ones that are just a little bit closer to the uh, glass there. Um, so I would say this one's maybe slightly more difficult, but it's still totally doable. Of course, on the face of it here, excuse the dust and stuff, but you're going to have your low, medium, and high. That's going to be your indicator for your battery level. And then um, you can see the display is much smaller than it could have been. It could have been a lot bigger, but this leaves them that room underneath the crystal there to do some... Um, you know, decorative colors and whatnot. So I will try, I will try 
to get a loom shot of this. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. Yeah, so it shows up, but I know it's not in focus. But you guys get the point. It works fine. There's no issues with it. Um, and like I said, the buttons are pretty easy to operate. So pretty cool watch. Uh, check out Mimo. Big thanks to uh, Mimo for lending in watches. I appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.